Hey yo kiddos, Pyrrhic Kong here to announce the first Designing 4 livestream event, the Great Video Game Level Gauntlet. Now, what is the Great Video Game Level Gauntlet, you might ask? Well, the Gauntlet is a Flash program that puts either two or four things, in this case video game levels, against each other, with a group taking turns to decide which level is better. Typically, we get into all sorts of fun arguments as to why one level's better than another. Want a sample? Have a taste of a test run we did with a few of our patrons. Alright, that's me. Uh, rinse route. It's... Like, I I'm not even gonna allow debate. And, you know, you can play it totally evil. You can just be like, No, the Nazis were bad. I'm still bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then the omnipotent devil god, who is a computer, will go, Ah, Nimdok, I knew you had it in you, buddy. Ah, oh, way to go, pal. <laughs> so is there anything to Tracy besides him just being his, his quotes? He's really hard for no reason. Is it Mewtwo harder? Mewtwo is number one, and Tracy, for some reason, is number two. Even though he's like halfway through the game. Yes, and he's like stage or, eight, and Mewtwo's like stage sixteen. Well, he's stage nine. It says right there. I can't read. I love wrestling. I love gambling, and I love Silvando. I can definitely respect that. Mini Game Island is better. <sighs> I... Yes, it is. It is. My experience is just getting stuck on the one. Uh, exactly. <laughs> it's so good. Go to get the bird seed into the dead worm balloon to make a live worm balloon so that you distract the birds, which you hate because you're a skeleton. But you have to realize all of this on your own and not ask the balloon seller to make you a balloon of Robert Frost, the famous poet. But you can, and you can go up to the birds and go, watch out birds, it's Robert Frost. All right. Both of these are the most Canadian levels in their respective games. <laughs> <laughs> but then a spaceship comes and is like, Hey, Cork, if you get hung, you won't be able to go to toy hell. That just sends you to regular hell. <laughs> I checked the toy Bible. Uh, just, uh, just out of curiosity, now that you've played both, uh, where do you put the overworld of uh, the original Zelda versus Breath of the Wild? Oh, I love uh, original Zelda much more because it doesn't have rain. And that's our top ten. Wow, what a winner is number two. <laughs> what a freaking no. winner. No one, no two. What we're looking for is your absolute favorite video game levels and why you love them. A level can constitute anything from an entire dungeon to a chapter of a visual novel to a boss fight. Whatever's a level to you, as long as it's not a totally obtuse explanation, we'll take it. Our favorites of your favorites will be added into our live stream of the gauntlet, as well as levels featured on Designing 4 and a few choices of our own that have been carefully cultivated. Additionally, all of our Patreon backers will have a chance to have their favorite levels added. Simply come on over to our Discord server, which we'll link here, and suggest or talk about levels for the gauntlet. And we'll gladly put in at least three per patron. We'll also be inviting our top patrons and some of the most active members of our Discord community to join in on the live stream. We have no set date for the stream to best accommodate everyone participating, but we're aiming for early November. So if you want to integrate yourself in our community and have a chance at it, please feel free. We'd love to have you. So now, please head on down to the comments below and share your favorite levels and games. And come by a few months later to watch people bicker over their merits like idiots. That's what online communities are all about, right? <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for the support these past few years. This would not be nearly as fulfilling without you. Still bad at outros, so, uh... I don't know, uh... Play Suicoden 2. That sounds good.